Hi, and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to focus on the pre-interview work. The pre-interview work is obviously the stuff that you do before you go. And this is where most of the mistakes happen, uh, where the first impressions count, but it's all about doing your homework. And step number one, so before you go to an interview, step number one is understand the company in detail. What is it they do? What are their successes? What are their values? This is important because one of the questions you're most likely to be asked is what do you know about our company or why do you want to work here? This leaves many candidates stuck or stumped, uh, which basically means they don't know the answer. Remember, smaller organizations, will you'll probably be interviewed by the owner or a number of directors. They most likely have spent an awful lot of time growing and developing that business. In many respects, it's their passion. So by showing a sincere and positive interest, you're going to score highly. But do some real research and don't insult their intelligence by regurgitating information on the website. So step number one, understand the company in detail. Look through their successes, look through their achievements, look what's going on in the future. You know, what customers are they working with? Where are they working? Just shows motivation when you actually go into the actual interview. So step number one, understand the company in detail. Step number two is prepare questions. Prepare questions before you go in. So number one, buy a notepad, make sure you're prepared. Nothing will kind of annoy interviewing panels more if you walk in unprepared. Have a you know a, a pad, piece, piece of paper, or I say notepad, and have your questions prepared. Now don't ask questions where it's so obvious to find the information out. So one of the biggest challenges or one of the biggest frustrations for people interviewing is when people say how much do I get paid or what are the holidays when quite clearly they've been stated on the job description. So nothing will annoy I say an interviewing panel more than asking the basic questions. Don't make questions up off the top of your head. Prepare before you go in. You're only talking three questions. It might take you five or ten minutes. So think about intelligent questions that you want to ask. Think about things that, as I say, you really want to know. So that's step two, is prepare the questions before you go into the interview. Not when you're sitting in reception, prepare them before you go. And having a notepad and a pen with you shows that you're more organized, it shows that you're more motivated. So all these kind of signals that you're putting out to the employer, you'll score more, uh, well, score highly at the interview. Step number three is inside information, which basically means Use the recruitment consultant who usually, and in most cases, I would say maybe 80, 90% of cases, there'll be a person who will manage the recruitment process on behalf of the employer, so on behalf of the actual interviewers. The biggest mistake most candidates make, so you, if you're going for the particular position, is they don't use this person well enough. This person gets paid if you get the job. Therefore, use them. They want you to get the job because obviously they get paid. So inside information means that this person will have the relationship or will know in detail what that person is looking for, the types of traits, the types of personality, the types of skills in more detail. So ask the questions. Build a relationship with this person. Again, the biggest mistake people make is they kind of get frustrated with the middleman if you like which basically means that they kind of have a bit of a bad attitude or they treat them with a little bit of disrespect because they're not the person who ultimately is going to employ them but they are the person who will give recommendations so step number three is use the recruitment consultants find out extra information on exactly what it is they're looking for and use that information to your advantage and the fourth point, the final point, is probably the most easiest one, but still many, many people make this mistake, is be on time. What be on time means is not be there five minutes before or arrive, so for example, if your interview's at 11 a.m. in the morning, arrive at two minutes to. Be on time means arrive at least 20 minutes before. Now, one of the biggest mistakes, again, candidates make is people arrive into interview and then they've got to sign in for reception, they've got to sign in for security, name badges, and what happens is when people are running behind or they are trying to get there bang on time means that they become more frustrated. What you also need to be aware in of sorry, is there will be other people in that organization who will be in on the interviewing process. So for example, the person on reception or the security guard, if you're late and you speak to them with some, you know, with disrespect basically, they will obviously inform the people who are carrying out the interviews. Is that the type of person that they want to be working for their organization. So be on time means at least 20 to 30 minutes before. It allows you time to prepare. 
uh, allows you to gather your thoughts and sign in and have a general conversation with people in and around the organization. Again, these people will feed back, so be aware.